Hello there, I am Janko with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Whiskey Team. In the last part, we took on the first 15 floors of Mount Freeze. Now we're gonna take on the last five, because we got this midway point with a save point, and let's keep on going. Now, for the, if you got these five floors on Mount Freeze's peak, I should say, because the title is right there, um, the, um, the only Pokemon you'll see in this on these first on these five floors or four floors I should say because the fifth floor is the cutscene where we'll hopefully meet um Nine Tails, um but you only see Galilee basically. Now um keep in mind that Galilee um knows Powdered Snow which can be deadly because it hits everyone on the it hits you Apsil and your partner. And it has Bite and Double Team. Double Team is really annoying because it can raise its evasionness, which makes it hard to hit. And then Bite's pretty powerful as a, you know, a move, you know. Oh, there's the steps awesome. Let's take this Blue Gummy though first. Let's eat this Blue Gummy then. Okay, we got the IQ skill status checker. Nice. Uh, let's see, we have a full bag. So yeah. I think in the last first part of this dungeon I did pick up a reviver suit which is really nice you definitely at the point where you pick up reviver suits in dungeons if you're lucky so that's awesome the Glalie picked up a blue gummy I wonder if it's this Glalie that picked up the blue gummy didn't mean to do that I meant to use let's use let's set it back to water gun I guess there we go take out this Glalie there we go it was the one with the blue gummy so let's take let's eat another blue gummy. Why not? Just loving those blue gummies. Ooh, an orange berry. We can switch it with a petra berry. I don't need a petra berry. Swap. I'll I'll just leave the pink gummy alone, I guess. Take out this Glalith with two water guns. It should be enough for two water guns. Oh, I mean, I didn't use the water gun there. Oh, great. No, I didn't use water gun. Okay, these controls. Okay, so to explain my controls, I'm using a GameCube controller. Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the walkthrough guide. If I didn't, I'm sorry that I finally just mentioned this now. But um, let's try to go down. Maybe there's the stairs there. But um, my, for, my, for my R button, this isn't good. Oh no, I'm trapped. Okay, I can't get off of the water now without swapping places with my teammates, I believe. Um, but as I was saying... Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch them both to get away, just so they... Yeah, but as I was saying, I have a, I'm using a game controller as my controller, and I use my L button on my game controller is the... What is it? The Y button on the GameCube controller. My R button's the X button on the GameCube controller. Cause I don't want, I don't want my L and R button to like. When every time I use it, like I'm pressing L right now, and you can probably hear it's clicking. But if I have it as Y, it doesn't click as much. Cause it's just a normal button. It doesn't like whenever I press down, it doesn't make that clicking noise. Same with the R button, basically. So I'm gonna switch Cody's tactics to get away. And Ace's tactics to get away as well. Okay, I have to go all the way down. I can't even just do that. Okay, cool. And then let's just switch them back to what they were. Let's go together and let's go together. Nice. Oh, crap. Okay, we have to go with Cody now. Where'd Cody go? Shoot. Cody's gone. I was afraid of this. They'd get separated if I did this. No, I meant to use water gun. Jeez. You get a lot of experience for the Glalies though when you defeat them. You get 232 experience or about that, which is nice. Just, okay, let's hope. Yeah, when you go to the next steps, if your partner does get separated with you, or your teammates, they come back to you on um, the next floor, which is nice. The stairs are right there, awesome.
Oh man, I can't. Okay, I'll have to press L before A, basically, to use my water gun set move. There we go. I did it right that time. I did it correctly. That's a dead end, I think. Oh, is it a dead end? I'm not sure. I could be wrong. No, that's not a dead end. Okay, cool. We got we got to find the steps and then we'll be done. And there we go, nice. As I said that we found the steps. So when you reach the fifth floor of the Mount Freeze Peak, a cutscene will happen. Okay, we made it all the way here. We finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Ninetales is. Huh, there they are. I've spotted Steven. Alright, I see him. Oh, it's Alkazam's team. Uh, Alkazam? It's about time we finally caught up to you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Cody, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Steven, I, don't, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but th this too is fate. The role of our, of our rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with all, with everything. We will crush you with everything shred, with everything shred of our power. Get them. Boom, everyone's just flying everywhere. I go head to head with Alkazam. Boom. Yeah. Seize this at once. What? Ninetales? What? Ninetales? That's Ninetales? The legend, it was real. Seize fighting at once, Alkazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, no, even before that, was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may no ch have no choice but to eliminate them. W whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I cannot. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, it was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selfishly bore the full brunt, brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon, transformed into a Pokemon, the human. The human lives on. And that human would be? Who is the human that you speak of? Steven. Oh no. You may relax. It is not you. Okay, that's really good, Iris. It's really good to hear that. Just now, what did you just say? Steven is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. What? What? What's happening to me? I'm so- I'm too tensed up to move. Oof, oof, oof. Deep breaths, in and out, in and out, in and out. Phew. Oh wow, fantastic. This card is dancing around me like a superstar. That's great. I knew that Steven wasn't involved. I knew it. There's no way that Steven would do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I- it is true that I foretold of the world's balance beside becoming ups, ups, unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey you, you were wrong. You were wrong to hound and harass Steven. Er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, we uh, apologize. We're sorry, we got woke up by that Gengar. Yeah, that Gengar is no good, you guys. No good. No! I suspected Gengar right from the start. Steven doesn't, just doesn't look like the treacherous type. Ha 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 ha. If only that were true. But I must say, you are, you are to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Steven. 
Ha! Ex ex uh, excellent! I knew I was right. Huh? But, oh, but wait. Then why did Steven turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Steven isn't the human from that le legend. Then how do you explain Steven becoming a Pokemon? Steven, who are you? Oh, and we just leave it at that for right now. I don't know if we get back to that or not, actually. I can't remember. Uh, whoa, the ground's he heaving. Quake? Qu quake? The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamities are worsening. And the shifting of the ground. It will it will awaken the beast that embodies the ground. The beast that slept deep, under deep underground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has spoken of... Of only in myths. It is a Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with an arch enemy Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We will go too. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Well, we made it all the way here. We beat two legendary birds. I mean, come on. You give us a chance, Alkazam. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We don't. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done and we'll be back before you know it. Okay, whatever you say. Fine, we're, we're off to Quelgradon. And that's that, I guess. And thus... Alkazam's team made their way underground to quell the awakening Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Steven's team put an end to their long and arduous journey, there's that word again, and returned to their welcoming home t rescue, welcoming rescue team base. And we could save our adventure right here, so yeah, with that said, we, um, this has been then my Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. The next part we'll take on, hopefully we'll get back to, um, our old Rescue Team base and clear up everything at Pokemon Square and tell everyone the good news that I was not part of the Ninetales legend. So this has been Janko again, I will the mission again, goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walkthrough Guide.